Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Aftermath. Freakin' Flax is already making his way out towards the ring, and he is wearing his old mask. What are we in a freaking time warp here on Aftermath? Last week, Jersey was uh, reverted to 2003. Tonight, Rocco seems to have reverted back to 2005. And now Freakin' Flax is wearing the same mask that he lost in 2005. I just called for a mic, so let's see what he's got to say. Let's see what is going on here, because I am at a loss. That was the first time for everything. Hello? Hello? Which one? All right. Yeah, everybody out the go. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, I have my old mask on. It's good times. There's a reason behind it. Because tonight, someone's medication got messed up, and it's going to be for the good of all of you, because... Ladies and gentlemen, my tag team partner for tonight, reuniting the freaking Hellraiser, the Halloween Hellraiser, Rocco! And things just keep getting weirder and weirder here on Aftermath as the old Halloween Hellraiser theme music of Rocco is playing and here he comes, decked out in orange and black. The fans cheering it on, one half of the WNW Team Champions Asylum, this man Rocco coming out this week, reverted back to old attire and everything, his partner, the Jersey Devil at home this week. Captain Van Digger, get your asses out here. Last week you screwed me trick or treat one. I want me then. No, I was stuck hey, on Doomsday. I tried to tell you, but it's all right, listen, listen. All right, yeah, you may have been a trick or treat one. That's what, there's been three since then, man. Three. And Captain, we became a team freaking Hellraiser to help out Captain Amazing. You know what happened to him? He turned on you a doozy. He screwed you out of the title. Yeah, that's why I want him back. Oh, uh, well, it's a problem because everybody knew Captain was a flamer. He got his face burned off. He got his face burned off. And then there's uh, Grave Digger, you said? He went under a little uh, name change. The artist is formerly known as Grave Digger. His name is Geo Diabetes now. I get Grave Digger Diabetes? Yeah. I should be Uh, and yeah, there's, there's, so you can't really call out Digger and Captain. Uh, but there's, there's other things that happened since you were gone that's pretty interesting. There's this whole asylum thing with, with Psycho. He's a great jobber. He loses to see like Craig Trace, Neffel. Yeah, he's a jobber. And, uh, and, there was, and, there, and there was Sane. You know what? Let's have Sane come out right now. So uh, no, you can't because you were the lead up. He was over the lead up. It's just not happening tonight. He has other shit to do. But I know you're itching for a fight, and we could do it tonight. Fight it's payback, not City Jersey dealer payback. No, 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 no. I'm talking about uh, see Danger, Marsh, Dealer, Staples, Kyle Knight. Now they have already done stuff. We could fight Staples. He's a used guys kind of guy. Joey Hole Puncher. And we could fight Kyle Knight, who's a bitch for the floating top. Why does he have the floating top set? And what happened to Damien Dark said in Staples team ago? Oh, he's on like a huge weight loss program. I don't think it's working out for him. But <laughs> for a bonus match, because freaking Hell Raiders are back for one night only. Yeah. You guys are in the back. Kyle Knight, the bitch, and Joey Hole Puncher. Bring your asses out here and fight. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves an impromptu tag team match. We've got less than 10 minutes left on the tape for tonight's show. This was completely unplanned. So it looks like we're gonna see Joey Staples and Kyle Knight do battle with freaking Flax and Rocco, the reunited freaking Hellraisers here on Aftermath. We're gonna see how much of this match we can bring to you, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows, it might be quick. Somebody might lay waste to the other team. Who knows? But if we are unable to bring you this match in its entirety, stay tuned to WAWWrestling.com for what happened after the cameras stopped rolling if we get to that case here tonight on Aftermath. We've got about eight minutes left, I understand it, in our broadcast. If this match can complete before those eight minutes are up, awesome. Everybody will get to see what happens here tonight on Aftermath. However, if this match runs long, our cameras will attempt to pick up as much of the action as they can. And then, like I said, stay tuned to WAWWrestling.com and next week's Aftermath for what happened 
after the cameras stop rolling. It's all hypothetical. Rocco, oh my god. I'm going to welcome you to WOW. Been there, done that already. Oh, what a shot to the face by Rocco, who was saying I can't believe Damian Darkside lost 300 pounds in a week. Rocco completely reverted back to 2005. He's thinking that it's a week after Doomsday 2004, which would make sense that he thinks Carl Knight is Damian Darkside because the week after Doomsday 2004, Staples and Damian Darkside made their WAW debuts and teamed up the very next week. Come on, Kyle! Oh, oh, oh. Rocco now with a front face lock on Kyle Knight. This tag team match completely coming out of nowhere. I didn't expect to be sitting here after what happened in the main event after that came to a, a close. I thought our night was over. But as has been the case in many recent weeks here on Aftermath, the night just keeps continuing to roll on. And it does here as Rocco is doing battle with Kyle Knight. Or in his mind, Damian Darkside, 300 pounds lighter. Either way, Rocco's doing battle in the ring. We got an elbow right across the chest to Kyle Knight. That's one. That's two. And we've got three down across the chest. We got a cover. We got a count. We only get two as Joey Staples comes running in and attacks Rocco. I don't want to lose again, bro. No. Joey Staples will be challenging the WAW Championship in a match of his choosing at Apocalypse coming up in five weeks. His payback stable mates, Dangerous and Rob Marsh, announced earlier tonight that it will be a tables match that they are taking their team title match in at Apocalypse. And then, of course, there's Kyle Knight with his floating title shot. This little green puke out of the, the, uh, the rookie camp of WAW coming in here and getting a title shot before some guys who have been working for years to get a title shot have ever even gotten one. Kyle Knight waltzes in here, gets, a, gets to be a part of payback and now has a WAW championship shot whenever he wants it to. I mean, he may not get to choose the stipulation, but he's got a little more power than Joey Staples has on his title shot. He can take it whenever he wants. Hell, after this match is over, Kyle Knight can say, hey, I want the WAW Championship and I want it tonight. I'm taking my shot now. That is the beauty of the floating title shot as freaking Flax rubbing his freaking nuts in the face of Kyle Knight. Freaking Flax now going off the opposite side. He's trying for the teacup there. Or tea bag, excuse me. I get my T's confused. Tea cup, tea bag, tea cozy, whatever. Oh, what a move there by freaking Flax. Driving the freaking up to the back of the freaking head of Kyle Knight. And we got an OA bomb on the Kyle Knight. Just to keep everybody posted, ladies and gentlemen, we have less than four minutes remaining in our broadcast. We will bring as much of this match to you as we can. Freaking Flax now backing Kyle Knight into the corner. Now hammering away at Kyle Knight. Drop tool hold out of the corner from the Irish whip. What a move there by freaking Flax. Freaking Flax now going for the figure Flax. He's got it locked on. Will Kyle Knight tap out here? Oh, Yakuza kick right to the head. And now Kyle Knight has it turned over into his advantage. But Rocco comes in and slaps on the crossface onto Kyle Knight. That crossface is locked on tight. Oh, what a shot to the head there by Joey Staples punching Rocco right in the head. And we get a Rocco slam by Rocco onto Joey Staples. What a punch to the face of Kyle Knight there. We've got both members of Payback down, and we've got the freaking Hellraisers climbing the ropes. Could it be a double? Montezuma raise up. And for the first time in a long time, Montezuma raise up, freaking Flax and Rocco both doing the move, and Rocco pulled out to the floor by the Dirty Dealer, thrown into the brick wall, and we got a dirty drop on the floor by the Dirty Dealer. Get ready, Get ready, my man. Get ready, my man. 
Now being backed off the ropes, and we got a takedown by Joey Staples. Couldn't quite see what he did there. Our lovely zebra was standing in the cameraman's way. Joey Staples back flips Kyle Knight over onto freaking Flax. Referee trying to get Staples out of the ring. We got a cover, we got a count, and we only get two as Flax gets a shoulder up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about under two minutes left in this broadcast. The time is getting tight here on Aftermath. Joey Staples has freaking Flax up and he's got him in an airplane spin. Freaking Flax spinning around, not quite knowing where to go. Joey Staples has him up and drives him into the corner. They got a forearm shot right to the face of freaking Flax, dropping him down in the corner. Joey Staples elbows Rocco, comes off. Young cruiser kick right to the head. What a shot there by Joey Staples, Yakuza kicking the head of freaking Flax. Freaking Flax put down by Joey Staples now, has him in. A camel clutch, freaking Flax gets out, goes over, going for the toss salad, no, do we got it? Gold rush by Joey Staples, taking down freaking Flax. You love me Flax, you know you can shake up. We got a cover by Staples, we got a count, we only get two. What a nonchalant cover there by Joey Staples on freaking Flax. Freaking Flax now is in the ring with Kyle Knight, who's just tagged in by Joey Staples. Freaking Flax taken down. We got a cover. We got a count. We only get two. Kyle Knight picking up Flax. We have just about under 20 seconds left. Stay tuned to WAWWrestling.com to see what happens in this contest. Thank you for joining us on Aftermath. We are out of time.